In this video, I'm going to be reviewing LayerPath. LayerPath is an interactive screen recorder that will create step-by-step -step instructions and tours and videos just from one simple recording. You can embed forms directly into the videos. Your viewers can engage with the video by clicking on actual elements. And you can also include buttons, change the design of the fonts amongst a whole library of different features. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the things that truly stand out to me. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a few minutes to a couple of hours and make sure to stay until the end of the video because I'll be giving away a special bonus. Here we are inside Layer Path. And one of the first things that you'll notice is a clean, simple interface. We have our navigation on the left. We have our dashboard straight in the middle and we will also need to install the Google Chrome extension because we're going to be clicking on this and this is the thing that will record our screen. Now just quickly we can create different projects just by clicking new project and then we can decide how we want to upload into these projects. We can create playlists, kind of like a YouTube playlist, and then we can even create our own brand kits so it always follows our color themes uh, and our fonts family and all of that good stuff. I'm not really going to be going through any of that. That's pretty simple and you're probably here because you want to see the tool in action. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do just that. I want to create a quick how-to guide to navigate to the courses area of my brand Brainy Automations membership area. In my browser, I'm going to go ahead and click the extension and then do start recording. A countdown will show up and now it's recording my screen. So the first thing I want people to do is go over to the courses tab and then they'll have an option of all of these different courses that I've created. Let's say I want them to click on a course to enroll. They would click here and then they will be taken to this page. We can then click start course and remember of the extension is recording all of this. In fact, you can see I've done six clicks in total and then we can do complete lesson and it will move them on to the next training. When you're done, you can click the extension and that will finish the recording. And now what it's doing is it's created three different things for us. We have a tour guide, then we have a general guide, and then we have the video. Let's start off with the tour guide. So we'll do launch tour and now these little pop-ups are showing out of nine steps. So we're just going to click the arrow and then it's guiding us to where we've clicked. And you can say navigate to there and then do next and then click here, here. And you see it's guiding us through an interactive way that we can actually click. And that is such a handy little tool. We'll move on to the guide. And once again, we have all of our navigation on the left. So we can say click here, then navigate, click the button, click view course, click here, click to start and click to complete. How cool is that? And then finally, it's even got the video. So if we just press play, it's already added all the fancy effects for us. So it's going to go to the course and you see those animations are zooming in. It's really nice and sleek. So it's basically animating everything for us, which is cutting our editing time drastically. Now it doesn't just finish there because you can decide, hey, I want to go into the guide set section and click edit and then you can edit each one of these descriptions so for example instead of saying click here we can say click course and then we can say navigate to the courses section to enroll in a course and then that's saved go back to preview and then here you can see it's changed to click courses and then it's got that description right here if we go back to edit we can also duplicate slides or even edit the image we can crop it if we don't want certain things in we can even do annotations right here and it's got all of these preset things so we can even do an eclipse and then add it here and then we can add some text if we wanted to just like that so the whole bunch of things that we can do to really make this engaging we can also enhance with ai by selecting the category entering some text and then doing apply and then that has enhanced the software now finally we can do share and we can publish this to the web share it as an html file we can export it as a video or export it as a gif now let's say you wanted to edit the video we can click on the video and then on the side you'll see we've got the adjust layout audio and then there's even a time bar at the bottom of the screen that will let us edit the recording we can 
move the slides in different orders, change the layout of the background with either abstract or gradients. We can add audio in or even do voiceovers. So we can actually generate our own voiceovers right here using robots. We can also add our own voiceovers as well. So there's a ton of things we can do, which is pretty cool. Then when you actually select the video in its own right, all of these clicks will automatically show and you can control how the animations appear. If we don't like the tilt of the animation, we can actually just change this like this. So we really have a lot of flexibility of what we can and cannot do when it comes to the animation of the page. Overall, this is Layer Path ton of features, super handy tool to have, and yes, I would absolutely recommend this tool. I've left a link below if you want to check it out.